Hello friends, I'm Dr. Schultz, and today I'd like to talk to you about dosages, basically how to dose yourself with my herbal medicine. I have a question here from a customer, and I've heard this from many, many, many patients over the years in my clinic, and it's a great question, and it, it's basically how much do I take of your herbal tonics? Well, generally speaking, it's two droppers full three times a day. Now, what's a dropper full? Well, a dropper full is whatever comes up in the dropper when you squeeze it. You can see that visually, it's only about a half a dropper full. But if I were to squeeze this, put it in, pull it out, there it is. It's about a half a dropper full. But when I talk about taking your herbal tonics, droppers full, two droppers full, that's what I mean, two of these. If you counted it, which would be really boring, it would be about 35 drops. And if you wonder, there's about 35 droppers full in every one ounce bottle and about 70 droppers full in every two ounce bottle. Anyway, medical doctors uh, don't want you to make decisions on your own. They want to be the boss, but I don't want to be your boss. So I want to encourage you to make decisions for yourself. And this is where what I call heroic doses comes in, or big doses, or doses that are just different than two droppers full three times a day. What I mean by this is if you're not feeling well, well, what do you do? I suggest take more. If you're not feeling well, take more. Maybe take three droppers full three times a day, or four, or five, or in a certain instance, you might take eight or ten droppers full. Do you know that when you have a cold or flu, I always suggest to do my cold and flu blaster drink, which is 12 droppers full of Echinacea Plus and six droppers full of Supertonic. That's 18 droppers full, okay, in one dose, down it. Okay, that is a lot of tonic. But my, my point is here is that when I say heroic dose, I mean that you have to dose yourself with a lot more than your standard dose. It could be two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten, twelve droppers full. Look, the worst case scenario is that you're going to feel a little sick to your stomach, and that rarely, rarely ever happens. What usually happens is you get well. That's what happens when you take larger doses. So do not be afraid to really increase your dose when you're not feeling well. I'm going to go over each product now and a few suggested doses that I have. Okay, friends, so let's look at my products, and I'm going to burn through this and just give you an idea of what some of the increased dosages you can use for my herbal products are. Let's start with the superfood. I always suggest two tablespoons of superfood uh, in a morning drink, or 15 tablets in the morning, or five tablets three times a day. Two tablespoons in your blender drink equals 15 tablets of superfood, and that's the daily dosage. But if you're anemic, if you have low energy, if you have an afternoon slump, uh, if you have cancer, you want to get more nutrition in your body, if you have any disease, so take two tablespoons and make a superfood drink in the morning and in the afternoon, or take 15 tablets in the morning or in the afternoon. And if you're really ill and you have a low blood count and you're trying to build up your blood, take it three times a day, four times a day. Worst case scenario with the superfood is you'll get a bit of a niacin rush with your circulation, which means that your face can flush red for a moment, your neck, uh, and you can become a little itchy for a moment. But that rarely happens. But if you take a huge dosage all at once, it can happen. Like if you take four tablespoons, try to spread it out. Two tablespoons of superfood or 15 tablets two times a day, three times a day, four times a day, whatever you need to get your blood strong. Now, if we're talking about the intestinal formula number one, I always say start with one capsule, just one capsule at night, and see what happens the next day. And then and if you're not impressed with the way your bowel works, 
take two capsules the next night and three capsules the following night until your bowel is working great. But if it's an emergency and you really need to purge out, take two, three, or four capsules. It's not going to kill you, and it's going to get whatever's in you out, especially if you have something like food poisoning or you ate some bad food. Okay. Intestinal formula number two, same thing. I mean, usually we use it during the five-day uh bowel detox, unless you have some type of hot bowel problem like irritable bowel syndrome or Crohn's disease, uh, then you would take it on its own. Uh, but if you're taking it for food poisoning and you want to absorb the poison, uh, normally we take five uh, doses a day. Uh, that can either be the powder or the capsules, but you could take 10 doses a day. You could take five doses all at once. Just make sure you drink plenty of liquid with it. But the idea is, is you can take more. Um, the digestive tonic, again, I usually suggest two dropperfuls, but you can take more. If you're having gastric reflux or indigestion or heartburn or nausea or cramps or any digestive problem, whether it's during the day, before or after a meal or at night, if you wake up with gastric reflux, take at least four dropperfuls in an ounce of water or five or six or eight or ten. You can't overdo it, and the more you take take, the better your chances are of fixing your problem. Usually four to six droppers full is what works great for gastric reflux if you wake up with that. Um, let's look at echinacea. Now generally, again, two droppers full three times a day. But I just told you before, we take up to 12 droppers full for the cold and flu blaster, or a quarter bottle, or a half bottle, or an entire bottle, two ounce bottle, one entire one in a day if you have severe cold or flu. So that's a heroic dose. Um, the same with the children's echinacea. The same with the detox formula. Generally, again, that's two droppers full three times or four times or five times a day. But you can increase this formula. This is probably one of my strongest formulas, but you can still increase it to four, six, or eight dropper fulls three, four, or five times a day, depending on what you are trying to do. The same with the liver gallbladder formula. My general dosage is two dropper fulls three times a day. But if you have gallstones, if you have liver disease, uh, if you've been poisoned, if your liver has some type of illness, you want to increase the dosage. Four dropper fulls three times a day. Four dropper fulls five times a day. Increase the dosage. Same with the detox tea. You can drink it all day long. Many of my patients did that. They drank it all day long, uh, just as a general cleansing drink. Same with the kidney bladder formula. If you have kidney infections, if you have any urinary tract infection, if you have kidney stones, up your dosage. Four dropperfuls three times a day. Ten dropperfuls five times a day. Whatever it takes to get rid of the infection and heal your urinary tract. Same with the kidney bladder tea. My deep tissue oil or my deep tissue ointment. Uh, this may sound simple, but use more, especially if you have any bruises or bangs or injury or inflammation to joints, tendonitis, anything like that. Or you have a bone injury where you've fractured a bone or muscular injury, use more and put it on all day long and all night long. As long as you're awake, uh, put more of it on. I've had patients that had so much drama and trauma trauma due to an injury, I covered their complete body with my deep tissue ointment. Don't worry, it's safe, you can do it. And the same with jojoba and tea tree, and the same with anti-infection. I talked about flushing a wound. Just don't put a few drops on. You can take the dropper and flush the wound with multiple droppers full of the anti-infection formula. The female formula, again, standard dosage, two droppers full three times a day. But if you're having problems, whether it be painful menstruation or too much bleeding during menstruation or with menopause, if you're having problems with uh, hot flashes and any problems with menopause, 
increase your dosage. If you're having a hot flash, increase your dosage right in that moment. Six dropper fulls, eight dropper fulls, 10 dropper fulls. Increase it up to that right in the moment for the hot flash. Then go back to your standard dosage. And the same for the female plus for PMS. Two dropper fulls three times a day. But in the catalog, you'll see a different dosage for when you have PMS. But if you're having a PMS attack, if you're having tons of anxiety or irritability or anger or depression, if you're having uh, bloating and weight gain and water retention, increase the dosage uh, to four dropper fulls, five, six, ten dropper fulls, whatever you need in the moment to fix the problem. Same with the male formula. With the prostate formula, increase the dosage. Uh, if you're having more prostate problems, if you're getting up in the middle of the night, having to urinate two or three or four times, take it right then. More prostate tonic, three droppers full, five droppers full, 10 droppers full, whatever it takes to fix your problem. Start with a lower dosage and work your way up. The same with the male tonic and the super ginseng. If you're having erectile dysfunction or impotence, increase the dosage. Uh, same with the circulatory formula, especially with the heart formula and the brain formula with the heart formula. If you're having heart problems, whether it's tachycardia, which is speeded up heartbeat, or a regular heartbeat, cardiac arrhythmia, or palpitations, whatever you may be having, increase the dosage. You can easily take four droppers full five times a day. You can increase that to six or eight droppers full if you're having a problem. Again, the same with the brain tonic. We know the standard dosage is two dropper fulls three times a day. I'm going to say it till you get it. But if you're having a disease or a problem, dementia, memory loss, tinnitus, ringing in the ears, Alzheimer's disease, increase that dosage. Four dropper fulls five times a day or more, whatever it takes. And especially if you're having some type of episode, increase the dosage. Uh, cayenne tincture and cayenne powder. Increase the dosage. Uh, you'll have a hot time. The nerve formula. Uh, general dosage is sure. But if you're having any problem from anxiety to irritability where you need to relax or insomnia where you can't sleep or any type of spasms. Remember, this is a great antispasmodic. I use the same formula with my patients who are having seizures and who are epileptics. Increase the dosage. You can easily take six, eight, or ten droppers of this formula if you're having a problem getting to sleep as a sedative, as an antispasmodic, if you're having any type of nervous attack, if you're just feeling nervous, if you're having a muscle spasm, or if you're having a seizure, take more. This is the only formula that if you start taking 10 or 12 droppers full or more, you could feel a little nauseous. Don't worry. Worst case scenario is you're going to vomit. And one of my great old teachers always used to say that if you do, you have a cleaner stomach for the next dose. So don't worry. Tooth and gum formula. Use copious amounts of it if you have any teeth problems or have any gum disease. Squirt it on there. Add more into your water pick. Uh, don't think about droppers full here. If you have gum disease and bleeding gums, you want to add uh, a quarter of a bottle into your water pick and get that solution with the water. Squirt it up into your gums. Uh, the Eyebright formula. Uh, the dosages are generally two drops is a great way to start in an eye cup, then filled with water. Remember to always put your eye wash tonic, your eye bright tonic in first and then add the water so it mixes well and if you have an eye injury use it more until you're well use it more until you're well same with the super tonic we can take large amounts of super tonic as i mentioned before six dropper fulls in the cold and flu blaster but you could take eight ten and twelve uh, gargle with it remember it's the world's greatest salad dressing um, uh, the throat and tonsil tonic uh, especially the spray spray it on every ten minutes if that's what it takes to relieve your sore throat pain and remember while you're relieving that pain, you're also destroying the bacteria that's in and around your throat and tonsils that's causing you the flu or the cold or the problem. And at the same time, you're reducing the inflammation. So keep it in your pocket and spray it on constantly. 
It's the same with the lung tonic. If you're not feeling well, take more. If you can't breathe, take a lot more. If you have asthma, emphysema, bronchitis, any, anything where your bronchial tubes are closed and you can't get enough air in, take more. Take six dropperfuls. Take eight. Take ten. This is just the other tonic, the nerve tonic and this tonic, both contain lobelia. So over 10 droppers full, you could get a little bit of nausea. Now remember, if you do a cleaner stomach for the next dose, use it like you would an asthma inhaler, as much as needed to get you breathing. And the air detox, the last formula here, spray it until your house smells good, until all the virus and bacteria and fungus and pathogens and antigens and microbes are gone, especially during cold and flu season. But any time of the year to clean up your house, to clean up the air that you breathe in your house. Remember, uh, the air in your house can be more polluted because of all the furniture off-gassing and all the bacteria that can live in your house, much more than the outside air. So use your air air detox to clean up your house. Okay, the bottom line here, the, the wrap up friends, the whole idea is don't wait for me to tell you how much to take of your herbs. If you're not feeling well, and I'll repeat that, if you're not feeling well and your symptoms are persisting and you're still sick and you're still ill and you're still diseased, take more herbs and take them more often. Spray more, rub more on, drink more of the teas, take more of the tonics, take more herbs and take them more often. That's how you heal yourself and create powerful health. Thank you.